All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf. Yo, one and only. Welcome back to some more, uh, Grand Fantasia. Uh, memories. A private server. So, I was told by the, um, by how that there is a new transformation going on. Not new transformation. It's like, um, how do I explain it? What's this? An order for level 90 players. Uh, is this a new tower? I think this is actually a new tower. Or a new dungeon. But you get the order from table? Okay, that's weird. But yeah, I was told about how that uh, there is like this new uh, thing going on. To where... You could transform into a goddess? I think it's through... Is it through that? I think it's on a website, actually. I think it's one of their uh, rewards, right? It's a reward for March, is what I think they said. But it's in their Discord. You can see it through there. Right now, February is still going. So, I'm guessing tomorrow? But uh, he's, he or she said um, people are selling it for 30k. And gold is actually pretty easy to earn inside of this. So I'm curious. Very curious about this. I say like, I won't have the money to be doing that because uh, for those guys who are, you know, new to the channel. I've been working on a game called Monster Girl Utopia. And I basically hire a whole bunch of Fiverr people. And we make a game together. And currently it's Monster Girl Utopia, which is basically going to be like a RPG classic creature collector of Monster Girls. So, yeah, I, I really am on a budget, unfortunately. So I can't just be um, throwing money around like that right now. I was have to actually keep my budget in check. Is this people sell it for thirty k? So I'm interested to see how long that takes, actually. Hmm. Okay, so it's not out yet. I was like, when he said 30k, I, I was thinking to myself, like, is this, this just like, <laughs> already out or something? The way they said it was like, it was already out. Because when you're telling me, like, the price people sell it at, it's, I'm basically thinking, is it already an auction house? I believe uh, times five XP is on in gold. I haven't checked their uh, Discord actually. Hold on. I'm not sure if it's like day based or like time based yet. I am curious to see this. Let's see. Where is the news? Is it in news? Or is it somewhere else? I think it's updates. Is it updates? Or is it announcements? Yes, yeah, announcements. So yeah, today. It is on. I'm not sure how long it's going to be on though. That would say they didn't give an uh, end date, so I'm guessing until the end of today. So hopefully we can get some levels in. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We're uh, yeah, we're on this path. Oh God, I was too far away. Plus, we also got our... Oh, 
We still have our uh, XP's on. Okay, we got quite a bit of XP. Uh, the maximum way to stop yourself from getting stunned is the level um, 70 staff. I said that would just be the best way overall to keep yourself from getting stunned. In this area to where you can get stunned like really easily. Since we don't have that staff. Wait, why did my name change? Hmm. Oh, well, I'm not worried about it. Anywho. Oh, shit. No, I'm out of mana. <laughs> I forgot, Druid is very, very mana hungry. Like, very mana hungry. How can I forget something so important? <laughs> of how mana hungry my own class is. Come here. Ah, I was trying to get the stun off before they did. Ah, oh, did you reset it, you dick? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's what I should be doing. Getting my next uh, staff. Especially since we're about to be like leveling very fast soon. I'm earning 16 to 20k right now. And these are all like green. Green level enemies. How the hell did you just stun me through that? Are we not going to talk about that? You just stunned me as I stunned you. Oh god. Fucking misfortune. Oh my god, they reapplied it. Gotta hate it, man. You gotta hate it sometimes. But I'm more curious about, like, gear right now. Like, what is this? Is there any new presets that, that started popping up? Things I haven't seen. Wait, Sprite XP is up too, right? Uh, XP drop. Okay, nah, it's just... Right now it's just XP drop gold is on in times two... PvP fame is on. If you cannot stun me, that'd be nice. Be nice. 
At least until I get my next death. Be nice to me into them. Oh, okay, I remember. This changes into an AoE. I know this probably seems slow to you guys, but this is the safest way to do this. <laughs> I need better cast sweep. I think that's what I need to work on right now. I was able to get off and time. Ah, uh, what? Okay, dude. Getting stunned right afterwards is bullshit. Okay, really? We're gonna keep doing this? Alright, dude, fine. I, I can... We can keep doing this. I was, I'll get it sooner or later, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> the always annoying thing about gravitation is like hell they can miss the attack but you can still take on deep effect so they can miss the stun but you can still get stunned which was always annoying I was, I was always sat there, I was like, dude, wait a minute, how did I get stunned again? <laughs> this is BS. Ah, no. Oh. Almost missed my stun. I am curious why my name changed, though. Is it always like that? I'd rather go back in my older, older videos and look. I was about to say, I don't see a stun over your head. That concerns me. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then that one happened. Wait, whoa. Wait a minute. What? How did I get misfortune? They're both, they're all stunned. Okay. Okay, I have a lot of questions about what the fuck just went on there. I shouldn't have gained misfortune off that. Were they not all stunned? Or maybe he uh, actually stunned me as soon as I took, took aggro there. The staff is actually decent. Hmm. No, oh, this one's actually a lot better. That gives me a lot of in. Wait, what? Okay, dude. 
I thought she was in stun radius, to be honest. I will say this, your strongest form is definitely the human form when it comes to like dungeon farming, killing mobs inside of the dungeon. I would say your strongest boss killing form, in my opinion, would be between gorilla form or the wolf form. The bird form is actually pretty good too because it has that uh, heal. It just really depends on what you want to like build towards. I'll say if you're building towards magic, bird, and human form, you're building towards physical, gorilla form, and wolf form are the main things you want to focus on. But the strongest one would probably be uh, human form just because of all your skills you can use. I say if you can use your, you know, skills your human skills inside of your form transformations, then Druid would actually be a lot stronger than it is. But I don't think any version of Grand Fidesz is going to let that slide. Because <laughs> that would be actually very OP, seeing Wolf Form heal. Uh, God forbid see Gorilla Form heal. Like, Gorilla Form tanking like that would be... Actually, a Gorilla Form tank that can heal would be amazing. Anytime now. Anytime now. Anytime now. This is why I hate Misfortune. <laughs> Misfortune is such a freaking annoying ability. Well, debuff. It's actually very effective on bosses, too. Actually, extremely effective on bosses. So if you're a necromancer, always apply that. If you're going to be affected by that. I think late game doesn't... Don't bosses become immune to that? Pretty sure late game they become immune to more debuffs. Hopefully I'm not thinking about a rework druid. No, rework a uh, necromancer that can uh, apply misfortune. Should really get rid of a lot of this. <laughs> but at least we got our cape. Um I say I like the movement speed cape, but I also like the reduce all damage. Druid is also amazing for dealing with adds, too. So if you want your main team to focus on, like, adds, just do this under the boss. Or at least a little bit behind the boss as your tank is, you know, tanking the full-on damage. Because you shouldn't out-aggro your tank doing this. Because your tank should be taking every last bit of aggro from you. I kind of knew that was going to happen. There it is. Oh god, I can't see. You're gonna stun me as soon as you get here, aren't you? I won't let that. I won't let you get the chance of that. Thank God for rocks. Yeah, how far do you walk out? I think you go right. Yeah. 
of Ingrid Grandpage is this annoying camera that does this shit. <laughs> We're trying to look around. I say you can perfectly see above it, but the game's just like, you know what? How about the how about the close up? <laughs> Oh shit, I thought he was going to get out of that a lot faster. But yeah, this this is why Nature's Wrath was so freaking strong. And I'm sad that they changed it inside of the official server because it was so freaking good. It was like the best tool for farming um, Blazing Kazlow. Kazlow, because equipping just because in Blazing Kazlow, or Kazlow, whichever one it is, those enemies at the very start, until you get to like the past the bridge area, and fight those group of orcs before you're touching like the um, little skulls without the legs, like grouping up all those enemies towards that area, as soon as you get there, you would a nature's wrath, but you would make sure that you don't drop this because as soon as you drop it, you're dead. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You drop it, you're dead. But at the same time, the enemies don't stun into their half HP or low HP. So you basically have like all the time in the world, to be honest, to get that stun. Which was great, to be honest. I'd say that was my best way of farming because that's an, actually what a lot of players did. They just gathered up a whole bunch of enemies from the start. Then they destroyed them in that group orc area where the tents are. It's basically where the auction house would be inside of uh, Kazla. You would path through that past that bridge and just group in that area with all the enemies. Some of them are... Some of their AI is pretty... iffy. Enemy. So what you would want to do is try and... Oh, shit. Are you good? I was say, I'm trying to stun you. This is what I mean about just dealing with ads is, is a lot easier this way. Especially if you can get like casting speed. If you get casting speed on this, dude, you're fucking golden. <laughs> because those ads won't be able to do anything towards you. You'll get also less interrupts too. So the tank would be here, you would be back here because they would spawn more in the general like area. Just make sure your your tank or whoever's aggroing is taking more of that aggro. But yeah, it was the best place to like farm up from uh, level ninety three because I think burning Kaslaw mutated was. 93, right? Been a while. Too bad that doesn't affect me, my guy. If only I was physical damage. And only if I wasn't cursed with, uh... <laughs> having to upgrade all my fame to fucking 25. <laughs> For my talents. It's gonna be a while. Did you just really fail that? 
You douche. Please tell me you guys at least changed Druid stuff. Uh, Mending. Ooh, reduced damage on physical and magic damage. I don't ever remember building this. I think I got past this. And never got a chance to touch this. This set. So I'm, I'm slightly interested. If I remember correctly, mind, uh, well, Spirit Mend was like, all your stats got increased by a certain amount, right? Is that what I thought it was? No, no, that was clear channel. I'm sorry, I I, I played Druid too often. I I, I know what I'm kind of doing <laughs> while I'm looking at this. Uh, where is it? Mid oh, here it is. Oh, it was the heal. That's what it was. Yeah, the region. I can actually go out and get this now. Actually, I can go out and get a lot of skills. I say, yeah, you can add this into the into the loot, but it's charge time. Not very likable. Plus, it also doesn't add on like anything significant. Plus, this is Instacast. So that's always been better. Well, I actually don't know if they changed any of the rabbit capes. What if the rabbit capes are good now? Hmm. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to take a little peek. Yeah. Oh, crap. That's what I almost forgot to do. Turn off music. I've learned that music inside of the main cities are copyrighted. So it is not worth going into the cities <laughs> with music on. Uh, if you are, like I said, if you are a content creator, do not go into the main cities with audio on. Well, music on. Yeah, we're going to be playing without uh, music for a while. Because uh, that is... That is bad for me. <laughs> oh, we're going to get rid of a lot of this gear. Well, then again. Didn't we need... And we're using fast leveling gear right now, right? So, is there really a point to buying? Buying these skills right now? Okay, we have Gorilla Form. I guess we would only want to focus on weapons right now, right? So I guess all this stuff wouldn't really matter to us at the moment. So I get yeah, armor wouldn't matter to us. One thing I wish Grand Fantasia had was like a quick sell. It would either be between be between uh divine light resist. No, I guess that's just light resist. But uh either a quick sell or a like fast sell. Like I could hold shift and sell. And this 
and this button wouldn't show up. Oh, I almost forgot to uh, sell the other stuff. I could have just showed that uh, sold that uh, auction house, but I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be using the um, SP gear instead. Ah, ah, lag. A whole bunch of people. Ah, please stop showing up. Please, ah, God, my PC can't handle it. Calm down. Too many of you. Is that a, is that a minion? Is that a person? I think that's a person. <laughs> oh God. But yeah, I haven't really talked to anybody in this game yet because, like I said, it's it's heavily Spanish. Uh. Honestly, I was thinking about like twenty or twenty-five. Okay, so now that we cleared our inventory. Oh, I could just keep forgetting. Oh, that's down right now. What the hell? Uh, I guess it's because um, because when you're offline, it doesn't re like keep regening. Well, keep going on cooldown because it pauses like all your buffs. Other than like um, what were they called? Divine gems. Yeah, these. Other than these. I didn't realize I had this. Oh, this one pauses when it's offline. So I guess it does tell you. So this way is Sir Charles, which is the skeleton warrior dude. So I'm curious. Been very curious about this. Does this Grand Potato have a threshold on on XP? Because I believe in the official server it is 500. 500 percent. Uh, okay, you dick. <laughs> Why? Now this is a good staff. Wait. Wait a minute. Is that what that staff had? I don't remember Oblivion's staff being that strong. Wait a minute. Has Oblivion's staff always been that strong? Just goes to show you how long I've <laughs> how long I've uh oh well actually it could be because of translation. That's something I've also gotta remember. That translations weren't very good inside of you know the official server. So I could be forgetting some things. Uh what we are gonna do is make that staff. Since we're gonna be pretty much level forty by the end of this dungeon. I guess we can make that one too. Um, so what do we need? We need um, pretty much the standards. Um, let's see.
Okay, so now. Wait a minute. I thought I thought I got you to gather it. What the hell? So you're gonna get the rocks, and you're gonna pick up my stuff. God, I hate those stones. Hopefully they're more useful in this in this version of Gravitasia. <laughs> I'm curious, can the goddess transformation be used in dungeons? It'd be interesting to get it. Since it seems like it does give stats. I don't know if it has its own like abilities though. Probably does. Even though it, it looks familiar, is it from um, the War Kingdom? The little Anubis chick? I wonder. I don't know. Looks like something that'll be in the War Kingdom. Well, like I said, dude, this is like the classic server for now. For now, who knows? It it could probably change, and they could probably like add in their own abilities and some new stuff. New skills for like players or something. But right now is for like it's like a little bit of classic mixed with a little bit of other games. <laughs> Quite a few memes I've seen so far. Ah, I thought I got it before you stunned, you dick. about the mage skills because they don't have a stun. Damn, I tried to get it. I'm doing risky plays now. Hey, what? It's done. I was like, I am doing... Now I just did something stupid. I was like, you better not stun me. But then I ah oh, damn that didn't get him. Oh, you bastard! I just realized you put misfortune on me. Slow and steady. Just because of XP. Their aggro range is definitely a lot better. I will say that. Which kind of terrified me for, um, Alternate uh, dimension areas. I feel so much more comfortable 
playing Druid than I do Ranger. Like, Jesus. Man, Ranger was not it, man, dealing with that. No misfortune me. I said, I'll take anything else but other than misfortune. Oh crap, I need to put on my rest of, rest of my skills. I just got him and just ignored him. Um Don't see the Don't see how long men actually last. Okay. Whoops. I was still going over there. Hello? Oh. Oh no. It's that. Okay, so this game still has that glitch too. To where events... Events, for some reason, don't show up. So you have to do detail, then back to sprite tab. Okay, noted. Noted that there's still a bug here as well. Okay, so that's still the same. Oops, I put those in terrible spots. Oh, you misfortune bastard. Ah, oh, you bitch. It, it went... It got... The damn thing went away as soon as I got it off. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> I just realized. Oh. Gorilla has his um 16 meter uh, ability back. Had, Gorilla 4 had a 16 meter um, AoE ability that they took away and made smaller. That's not it. Where is it? Did we get it at? So what the fuck is that? I said they changed. Yeah, they changed the symbol for it. That's that's what confused the hell. I mean, I was sitting here like, wait a minute, what the hell? Um, what are these icons? These icons are confusing the shit out of me. I said like, they changed the icon, but I don't think they changed like the actual like skill. That's that's what's majorly throwing me off here. They didn't change the icon for a uh, wolf form. Okay. My brain has a lot of questions for that. As to why there's a... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just confused the shit out of me, but alright. But wait, it... It turns into this, then goes back to this? Okay, I'm... Definitely very confused about that. <laughs> A lot of questions in my brain are just going off right now. This is the only like 10 minute buff thing that Druid has. And it's kind of useless. Now, if it actually would have... I would have preferred this to be damage reduction, like 30% damage reduction for 10 minutes or something like that. It's something. 
other than reflect damage. Because having a 10 10 percent chance of reflecting damage is kind of meh. It's something I've barely seen Druids do unless they do like a in-game reflection damage build. That reflection damage build would actually be like really good if you didn't have if you're going up against players that didn't have a all damage reduction. Which nine out of ten most of them did. Then there were some players that completely neglected it. Because you wouldn't think you would need all damage reduction inside of, you know, PvP. But you also gotta remember that, you know, some tanks had it. Had, like, reflection damage. Wasn't, like, a Paladin that had reflection damage, too? It was one of them. But then again, if I remember correctly, didn't they take away Thorn and change it to like a... Nah, they changed, um, what should call it, into healing. I don't think we have it in this one, do we? No, they changed... Yeah, they changed this into healing. That's what I'm thinking of. Which, this has healing was great because you can use it inside of like any form that you wanted. And it also gave you mana recovery. I say the rework just made drew it into like a... A magic or well, a mana battery is basically what we got turned into. We got turned into a huge mana battery with heal over time. We weren't good healers as um as archangels though. I will say that. We we're basically there to regen mana and keep everybody going. Anybody who was low on mana, that was our job to refuel their mana. I say we even had a, we even had a, uh, oh god, you have a stun, I forgot about that. I say they even changed, uh, Spring of Mana into, like, an actual, like, region. Instead of just, you know, everybody sitting down in one spot. Which is always stupid to me. It's just like, hey, if you sit down, you get mana regen. So I'm kind of help happy that they did change that. Do I appreciate uh, the rework versus like the original? Some things. Some things I do like about the rework. Some things I don't. It just really depends on like, you know, what's what's good for you in that scenario. As a uh in the rework I miss my original nature's nature's wrath cuz it was like really good for farming. But I love bird form because bird form becomes like extremely OP and fast clearing. Like bird form becomes the best form for like just clearing mobs.
But then again, Gorilla Form actually got like a lot stronger at tanking uh, enemies, though, as the rework. The only thing I, like I said, the only thing I don't like about the rework is that all of my buffs got nerfed duration-wise. Why? Why I saw like every other and other like person not get their <laughs> their buffs nerfed. Like a uh, Gorilla Guard. Gorilla Guard was a minute. Then it got nerfed to thirty seconds, and I'm sitting here like, why? That was an ability that Druids love and depended on, and you took it away from us. <laughs> By 30 seconds? You know that 30 seconds actually fucking matters, right? So we don't have to reply it again in the middle of combat like so often. And I think it also got a... Correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't really touched my Druid like too much since I started that series. That uh Ranger series. But didn't the cooldown also get nerfed too? To where it was like a lot longer? Or is that just because uh it just felt that way? Oh yeah, uh, that's what they added to it. They also added in um a one percent region to it, right? I think it was a one percent region that they added to uh, Gorilla Guard. Either that or I'm thinking of um, Gorilla's new region ability. It's so sad to see my ability get nerfed, man. Especially my buffs. My buffs that... Kept me alive, kept other people alive. <laughs> Been a while since I looked at my druid, my rework druid. All right, so we got all that. Now we go to this. Then we got the boss, which I don't have a appropriate hammer for this. Because I would love the gorilla formness or uh, wolf formness. Oh, shit. That sounds like he was putting stuff in his mouth that he shouldn't have in there. So now he's screaming at the nut because he can't have it in his mouth. I don't think I have to worry about this, right? I don't think they'll do that much. Yeah, they don't do that much damage to me anymore. Looks like it's just regen now. This is what normally druids would do. We would spirit men go into a pile of enemies and just do this. <laughs> there we go. But we're not going to get any XP from it since we pretty much out level. So, yeah. I say he's just gonna keep going, huh? Um, do I want to wolf form this? Not really. <laughs> I really don't. Oh well, actually, I have this hammer. Oh god, that hammer is actually pretty decent. So I can wolf form this if I wanted to. Uh oh yeah, we also got our other ability as well. Oh no, not that. Uh. 
Wait, I'm missing an attack. Well, we're four, aren't I? At least I feel like I am. Wait a minute, wasn't there three? Am I thinking of Wolf Bite? Is that what I'm thinking of? Oh no, it's this. That is at level 68. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. For Wolf Form, it was just like two abilities for a while. Even though I feel like it was more than that, but you know, hey, hey. Uh, Gorilla Form. Because we need to set this up too. Uh, then we had shock, which was an absorb, which wasn't too much on my radar because Warcry was the bread and butter, really. I normally keep my hills at the top of my bar if I'm like using hills though in different forms. So mend. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm I'm missing my invisibility. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, this ambush. Oh, and I have my sand ability now. Totally forgot about that. That's another bread and butter skill that we like. It doesn't mix so well with uh, Dizzy, though. That's the sad part. Does not mix well with Dizzy. Okay, you guys can do that. Um, Mending lasted for 15 seconds. Okay. How long did this last? That lasts for 11. Okay, so this into this into this to visibility into this oh you bastard um okay okay now it turned off my abilities wait a minute Oh, it's render one, that's why. You bastards. I forget that it doesn't upgrade shit. That's so annoying. I forgot that was a thing. I missed out on so much damage there. If you ever need the break, reapply everything. The worst thing he can do to you is silence. Exhaustion isn't like too bad. I say if you need to, you can just transform back into human form while exhaustion is going on. I didn't change my talent back. That's why I forgot.
I say, since he's critting me, Real Form would be the best thing to be in right now. Like, as soon as a buff comes up that I don't like, I would normally transform into Gorilla Form and get that, uh, yeah, get that on there. Just to miss some of those, uh, some of that damage. Okay, so I am missing an ability. It's that kicking ability. Did I not buy it? Yeah, here it is. Oh, it's level 40. That's why. Oh, you douche. <laughs> I forgot about that. So it, the primary way to get a uh, gauge for this is that ability. I don't. Yeah, this doesn't give charge. If I remember correctly, this doesn't give charge. So you really can't use this. Yeah, that never made sense of why you would unlock mental shock faster than you would your uh your power wave i just never understood that at all wait did we get jungle jungle fish Oh no, Jungle Fist is all the way up to 61. Okay. That 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 makes sense. Alright. Alright, dude. <laughs> that, that makes sense. Okay, so we're done with that now. Once we start getting this staff like together, I think we should be good. Uh, we're gonna put you away and start dismantling some of the useless capes as well what, what I was gonna say until I figured out that you're still low. But yeah, if a terrifying debuff or buff, well, no, mostly a terrifying buff come up that does a lot of damage to you, you immediately want to go into Gorilla Form and give them, and give them the, what was it, get them Warcry. Because that will save you a lot of damage. And not only that, Gorilla also, you know, decreases a lot of that damage. And all forms give you immune to fear, which if, I don't think, if I remember correctly, fear wasn't like very, very much of a thing. At least it wasn't very present inside of a, the official server. It's probably a late game thing, if I remember correctly. I don't need this anymore. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I've been neglecting this. Even though it's not going to give me anything good from what I see. Hmm. Yeah, that was terrible too. This was also terrible as well.
that was awful as well. So nothing upgraded from like this book, which kind of sucks because I was kind of hoping this was one of the main things they they changed. But it's one of those it is what it is type of situations. I'm so curious if this was like if this server was recently made or was it a uh, has it been up for like a long time? Okay, so what we're gonna do is oh yeah, we got one of these. Nice. Uh Guess we'll throw that in there just in case we want to get more of them. You throw this in here because that's not going to give us anything new as well. Guess we can throw that in there and come back for this quest whenever we're done. Because that's not going to give us anything good too. Um... We throw all these in here because those are going to be outdated for us for a while. Huh. So we're almost level 40. And it is time for us to go do... Is it black sheep this? No, nah, there's something else. Black sheep trader. Wasn't? I don't remember what this is. If it's not a new thing. I say, wasn't it throwing one of the throwing people over here? Okay, anyhow. That's a PvP thing. So now we go to Red Ridge, right? God damn it, that noise every time. Oh no, we went here and got got this. And I believe that was the only thing we actually like needed, right? Yeah, this is the only thing we needed from that. So now we go to Deserted Temple, which was in Red Ridge. I guess at this point, since we're leveling so fast, <laughs> we should just go to uh, 
We should just start doing dungeon rushing, huh? As long as I can keep my gear up to date, that's... That's the only issue. Save my soul here. Okay, I didn't out level Desert Temple, which is good. Not trying to out level dungeons here. Okay, so that gives 17 gold. Are you fucking not, mate? Now, this is a dungeon I can just, you know, be more comfortable with inside of my human form. Okay. Whoa. I will say that was annoying. Oh, God. God damn it, I, I've just realized that these enemies, I've totally forgot I have the whole cancel your heal thing. Anytime now. Anytime. Thank you. I feel comfortable in my droid in my human form. <laughs> Last famous words before you forget about, you know, putting on certain things. Forgetting that enemies can cancel your heal. Which one was it? I think it was this one. I think that counts as a plague, if I remember correctly. Because I was using magic because I was still thinking of uh, his fortune. Okay, finally you came back. Uh, how much points did you get in? Oh my god, you failed that event. You loser. <laughs> Disgusting. How could you fail that? You failed your father. How dare you. You shall be punished accordingly. Um, okay, so put this in there. Give me some stones. What else do we need? Okay, we still need six of those, so we still are raising that. I'm gonna be sad when these cookies are all gone, dude. <laughs> I say this dude is really spamming his switch.
I've never seen anybody spam their Twitch that hard. Uh, let's see. Grab this. <laughs> Even the GSs are over getting their gears done. I was like, at least this game has fucking staff members playing in the game. <laughs> That's what I missed about the official official server, man. You used to connect with the developers and the community managers and stuff like that. Not anymore. Especially since... Damn, can you even say that Discord's a forum, really? I guess you technically can. I don't really think they conversate, like, too much, really. Man, that just... That just actually gave me nostalgia. Because there was quite a few, like, GSs that I actually, like, talked to. Is it CM or... No, it was CMs, right? Because community manager. I believe that's what it was. Or was it GS? Grand staff? Grandmaster staff? Something, something like that. Cease this behavior. Wait, what? Huh? Um, okay, skills weren't doing damage. What just happened? I was like, you guys saw the skills go on cooldown, but nothing was getting... But I wasn't getting any points off of that. Wait a minute. So if I miss my abilities, I don't get a charge. Is that what's going on? Wait a minute. Was that in Grand for the original? Because I don't remember that ever happening. But then again, I played a class that really didn't have, you know, the luxury of missing. <laughs> but apparently in, in this one, dude, I'm missing like every bit of my shots. But then again, my gear isn't up to date either. So that's also another thing too. So, you know, level 39 with the freaking level 26 staff. I haven't been keeping up with my uh, staffs, man. I gotta get that figured out. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's, it's taking a while. we will get there. Okay, let's do this again. So they have... Oh! 50% blind. Wait, did we not stun you? Okay. I knew I wasn't fucking blind or anything. We did it right here and they didn't get hit the first wave of my nature's wrath. Excuse me? I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck down, alright? Whoops, wrong button. Ah, that's what it was. I got the blind, so the blind didn't hit them. So, oh, that's not fair, dude. So if my if my ability misses Okay, don't put that on my screen, please. Something I didn't like in Grand Potato where you just throw it on my screen when I'm in the middle of combat. But um too far to pick up, excuse me? So when I miss my <laughs> my debuffs don't go off, but when the enemies miss, their debuffs can go off. What the fuck, man? BS. What is this injustice? We didn't need a. I about to say we didn't need a whole bunch of ancient goat, right? At least I think so.
But then again, I discovered a different method of killing these guys. Then I use wolf arm and just did it one by one. I guess since I have nature's wrath and just know it a little bit better, I'm just using it a lot more often. Because I didn't really use nature wrath through like most of the game. I used nature wrath through like late game. I just need to keep my eye out for the can't heal debuff for this dungeon. That's that's the main thing I need to keep my eye out for. These enemies are still in the green, by the way, so I'm not going to be getting a lot of XP from it. There should be two enemies up here. Yeah, two enemies up here. I was trying to get like too far ahead of you guys. Where's that? Where's that again? Now I can do it. Now, if you guys are going to go down this this route of just stunning the enemies and regening, go staff. Go full on staff if you're if you're enjoying like this style of play and not dealing with the hassle of like stronger enemies. Or just want to like, you know, clear a little bit faster. Staff is definitely the way to go. Ooh, you gave me a sword. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay, you did. Hmm. I say Druid is mostly kitted towards um, magic damage anyway, as well. I think the main thing on Druid that you're going to suffer with is um, cast time. If you're going human form. If you could not aim, that'd be great. Come on. I said, don't get lost back there. God damn it, they put it back on. Okay, there we go. I got it.
Well, there's 41. Okay, so now I gotta pick these up. Shouldn't be too difficult to uh, kill this one. I don't, I don't remember this one being like very, very strong. Famous last words, but you know. <laughs> guess we'll put on the reflect. I mean, it's not going to reflect back much damage, but still. Whoops. It's like late game. I say with life still, this would be a lot, a lot safer to do. Oh God! Totally forgot to change my hammer, dude. Hammer time. He also likes to spam this. I forgot about that too. Okay, we're gonna go human form for this because he likes to spam that ability a lot I have to say the chances of this man actually landing it are insane though apparently since we can play a little bit more aggressive now we have more attacks Doesn't that take quite a lot of good? Okay, no, nah, it's not that bad. It doesn't get too much HP though, but eh, every little bit counts, you know. If I remember correctly, this is a work on. Yeah, that doesn't work on enemies, well, bosses. It'd be nice to know that indication now. Because I have to relearn O-Druid again after playing quite a bit of the rework. Having to adapt to that. Now you have access to a stun, which is not just not nice. Can you, can you stop being rude? You're being so rude, dude. Is there a stronger enemy in here? I'm trying to remember. Ah, oh, you dick. I don't think there was anybody who gave me like significant trouble in here. But like, then again, famous last words. <laughs> I am very much looking forward to getting to um, get rid of that. Uh, add this over here. Getting back to Mystic. Because Mystic is where all the fun stuff happens. Okay, you can still do this. That hasn't changed. No, 
why I always wanted a private server of um, Winter 101. Before they added in the whole school pit bullshit. Now, that's what I would like to see. That that would have been like, actually like fantastic, but I don't think that will ever happen, sadly. Actually, no. Wasn't somebody working on a private server, actually? Not, yeah, somebody was working on the private server for uh, Wizard101. Uh, here, I don't think I should be worried because I don't think they have any very annoying abilities past this point. Like, they didn't have any stuns or anything. I'd say it's just a matter of getting them there and just not getting stunned. Is it, well, not not stunned. Not getting um, DPS downed. Still have, like... Ooh, I don't. I don't. Oops. Um... <sighs> I just realized, I was like, wait a minute, I've been using a lot of mana through this whole run. <laughs> that could have been bad. Like I said, Druid has always been mana hungry. And will remain mana hungry as shit. That will never change, apparently. <laughs> oh god, I forget how like mana hungry Druid was. I guess it does, I don't feel like mana hungry with my druid now since i'm level 100 and you know my tables well my masteries are all maxed out i guess that's why i don't really feel it Hmm. Sworn I had lower level stuff, right? The bird must be sacrificed. Good job. Good job, you. Now all I've asked you is don't fail your father. I remember that one. I say this is mostly PvP. No, oh, I got it. Oh, I didn't even realize there was an XP one for this. Okay. me. Keep happening this way. There we go. Oh yeah, I do remember Oblivion being this strong actually, because it was something that I always went after. Because it triggered like very easily with this. <laughs> yep, there it is. There it is. Yep. Oblivion staff did this. That that's what I remember. I mean, it's not very very good if you uh you have low mana. <laughs> But it was extremely good in like a big group because that big group will would proc it like so much faster and so much easier. God damn it. 
Stop this. Cease this behavior. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. This is why Nature Wrath was also terrifying, because if you wanted to proc, like, a staff ability, it's out of a group, it was able to, like, just full-on send it. Oh uh, yeah, weapon mastery isn't a thing in the in this game too. Well, in this uh, version of Grand Fantasia. What am I saying? Version inside of the private this private server. Weapon mastery isn't a thing. Oh, this one got blessed on it. Okay, nice. It's going to become, like, very troublesome later on now. That I'm low on, like, so much mana right now. Could be. But you know what? Are we going to worry about it right now? The oh, fuck no. <laughs> we are not. Because this saves me from having to use a whole bunch of mana on other enemies. When I can just do it all in one go. Then we went down here to this guy.
if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, a lot of my stuff has to be, like, a higher level. Okay, so you're far away from the boss, so I don't have to worry about you. Actually, why am I not doing it on the boss? That would have made more sense. Because I would have practiced a lot easier. Debuff, well, buff and my mend. There we go. And I also got my level up out of that. I'm over here pushing the wrong button. Oops. Not what I was trying to do. There we go. Are you interrupting ass? <laughs> I could just melee, melee him to death, but wouldn't be very effective as of right now. At least until I get my gorilla forms, uh, power wave. That. Cas DPS is actually absurd. That needs to stop. I say it, it, that damage actually adds up, and that needs to cease. God, I need to redo my whole bar. <laughs> so much stuff everywhere. I mean, like I said, the rework for Grand Potato was actually pretty good for one thing, and mostly but something me and the Druids have been suffering with. And that is, uh, when we transform, we have to be in a certain taskbar where our, uh, skills are. But in a re rework, it automatically had, like, its own bar. Hold on. Um, don't need this. But it was kind of like, ooh, I'm in wolf form, and I automatically have my own dedicated, like, slot towards that wolf form. And I wouldn't have to change anything. I would just have to put, like, wolf skills inside of here and stuff like that. That would change back, then it would go back to human form or whatever task I was on before I transformed, before I did the transformation. That was one thing it was good for. And that was, that was definitely for sure. Definitely something that I was happy about. Um, we should turn off Echo Cave right now.
excuse me coming through. I don't don't need you doing this bullshit. Sad part is you guys have dungeon aggro, so you're gonna be following me for a while. Unless you get stuck on something, but I'm pretty sure yeah, you guys just travel through walls. Oh, you guys do have a distance to reset. Why can't other bosses do... Well, not bosses. Other enemies do that. <laughs> okay, so... Now... We go all the way up here. And we start getting ready for the end boss. Hey, what? Oh yeah, we beat this first, then we come back here, then we travel to the actual like in-game boss. Ah, I have to fight these. Because they're just going to follow me into like a terrible area. They die pretty fast, so that's the only good thing about this. There's like a gimmick here, right? What was it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you got all the abilities. That would be my child. All of you. You guys have like a terrifying Debo. I just don't want to find out though. <laughs> so I'm not going to fuck around and find out. Ah, dude, I'm only at two left. Oh, no. This could be bad. <laughs> So I'm guessing if they're on cooldown, I can't use them. If I remember correctly. There we go. I might want to step out of the dungeon and come back. And go get some more mana. Gonna use one of the potions. Damn it. Oh no, it actually didn't. Thank God. Okay. I could save a potion at least. <laughs> Damn it. Only if they didn't give me fours. Fours are the worst talents I could have gotten. Wait, no, they gave me threes, right? Yeah, they gave me threes. I say energy saver wouldn't really do much if I remember correctly too. We're almost done with this dungeon now. I I, I'd say if I wanted to reduce the damage I took from crits, that would be the best one. Now, so it just really depends on if the enemy starts doing a lot of damage to me to where I would change that. 
so far they have been doing like a like a whole crap ton which I would like to keep it that way but you know it's not gonna stay that way <laughs> Hopefully I'll have the video ready by the, by the morning. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, I had to give, I had to take some uh, huge judgment off of that one. Wasn't sure if I was gonna make it, so I was like, "Screw it." Really? Gonna join in now, you dick. Yeah, now we're getting to enemies that actually give us XP. But I'm not going to use my... Uh... Hold on. Wait a minute. Damn it. I was going to say, I'm not going to use... I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> And dead damn ADHD, of course. The, the crucial moment where I needed you the most. Oh, much further. Okay. Not too bad. Gotta just make sure... I guess I should probably just back off a little bit, get some mana, then go forward. Because we're still at three mana. But yeah, I didn't really look too much into their auction house. Uh, let's see. Makes me wonder, how much are they, are people in the auction house selling, like, Enhance items. Guess that they only ha have up into enhance plus nine. Huh. chance evasion oh yeah these are like special ones weren't they yeah because I used to use these two a lot well I used to use this one a lot for my uh wolf form druid build I never actually got managed to get this one now so that's why I stuck with Wolf Farm a lot more and, you know, we just started destroying stuff with it.
Yeah, okay, so here's the thing I thought back then. Back then, I was thinking that energy actually debuffs me. I actually thought these two debuffed me. When I was playing the official server. With how the translation went. I thought it was taken away from my crit chance and stuff, and I was like getting punished for it or something. This is a lot more clear. <laughs> That I'm not getting, you know, completely utter punish. I probably want this one on just because the next enemy coming up is magic base. Or do I want uh, this on? Well, energy saver, yeah, energy saver would do decently. Yeah, so like a hundred more. Plus, I get twenty percent save. Especially since I'm low on potions right now, that would be the most beneficial thing to me. Ah, there, hiccup. Okay. Here we go. Alright, let's bring you back out because it's going to need you for this fight. Alright, so this enemy does have reflection damage. Okay, so it's still a thing. Is the thing I want to cease here. Because you guys will help me proc my uh, staff, but you will also do a few things that I hate. Okay, you still have the transformation. Increased damage, I don't like. There we go. So now level 44. Were we like level 36 when we started? I was wondering if that, like, you know, interrupted an animation or something.
I wish I would have really went back and got my druid form. <laughs> Okay, I only have one more. The last boss is kind of looking iffy right now, boys. <laughs> will I still try it with this much? Yes, I will. Is it a stupid choice? Fuck yeah, it is. But you know what? Yellow. <laughs> if anything, I could probably do it in a uh, gorilla form. Okay, that's my last one. Sedge. Sedge. It would just be very, very slow. Oh, shit. Nice. And it gives a little bit more mana. Always good to see. If this wasn't, like, sitting down tick, this actually would be, like, insanely good right now. So now we gotta go to stand the man. I think we should be fine now. Why? Wait, okay, so it's not letting me do it regardless. Also, because of that. Wait, the hell? Where did my mount go? Did I just throw it away or something? It probably did. Wouldn't even be surprised, to be honest. But I think that's what it's uh yelling at me about. Yeah, that's what it is. Ah, it's you. Yeah, you're gonna be annoying to go up against. Um Wait, why are you using potions? Oh, I guess that does count as 80% none, doesn't it? That should make sense why you're using potions. Now, the thing is, I could manage rain the hell out of this boss. If I could gain charge points. <laughs> uh, like I said, I still don't know why Mental Shock is unlocked before Power Wave. Okay, so now you're at threshold to where you have a new skill. I think I'm basically golden, to be honest. 
Because I have enough potions to uh, regen me. I don't want to burn out through all my potions now. As long as I don't drop below like 5,000, I think I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, now you're going to start summoning. Seems like we're stopping around the AK. Oh, yeah, you have... Oh, no, I forgot. This one has weakened. So she's going to be dropping my mana. I mean, it's fine, though. The only sad part is I don't gain any mana back from fighting. We're halfway through. Ah, oh god, you have a stun? What the fuck? Never realized you had a stun. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping you would miss that attack. Kind of wish the uh, mana drop or mana drain was had like a different um had like a different what was it? Different color for his number. God, that's always, like, very hard to, like, try and avoid. Should have ran and get my potions, man. Should have ran and got my potions. She's going to be spamming that a lot. And I don't think it's available? Ev yeah, I don't think I can evade that, technically. Damn it, I, I, I'm out of mana now. So it's all relying on my potions. So I can play Keep Away. That's also another thing I can do to my potions. Like, you know, get me to a respectable HP. The only issue is... Uh, Mana doesn't come back, so, you know, fuck me, right? <laughs> Three. Four. Just got to do it again soon. There it is. I knew it. I knew it was going to come up, come up sooner or later. Only well, knowing because she has like a projectile that hits me every period. I think that's the most annoying thing about her. I say my bad. I was scratching my head. What? That hit me? That's BS. That shouldn't have hit me. 
Okay, I kind of want to lead her around again. He like said, "This wouldn't be an issue if I had, if I had mana." <laughs> But I know the limitations and Gorilla Form was definitely the best option for this. Because then I'm mad at Human Form would have definitely died. What is that? Oh, I thought that was freeze. I was about to say, you bitch. Oh, she isn't using it anymore. I thought she was going to use it sooner or later. Okay, then. Okay, you're dead, then. I thought she was going to use the damn attack. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, that is that is that. Always talk up a mana. <laughs> because even transforming costs a lot of mana, to be honest. Oh, combine with Kadim shit. <laughs> Always forget that. Nice boots that I will not be using. Okay, so we're basically basically done with all that. So the next dungeon is Echo Cave, right? So Echo Cave does have a few things that are actually quite annoying to deal with. Like the Raptors, I, if I remember correctly, they have defense lower cedar between defense lower or bleed i think no i think it was bleed wasn't it i'm pretty sure it was between bleed or stun So I guess I'll buy Echo Cave right here, and we will do that uh, next video. I miss a good old boss like Dungeon Rush. No, really, what the hell did I do with my uh my mouth. Did I actually throw it inside of the um, bank? 
Or maybe I did throw it out by mistake and just confirmed it. If I did, I'm a goofball. Maybe I was in just in the heat of the moment. That's also another reason why I wish there was an item lock system for Grand Fantasia as well. For goofballs like me. Yeah, I think I probably got rid of it by mistake. But then again, we have bird form. Bird form is just as good. Later on. <laughs> Alright, so we have a lot of skills available to us. If we want to increase mending, we want to get that. Uh, do we want bounty? Bounty is mostly good for a group. So, no, not really. Okay, we finally have this, which... I love to have. About to be losing a lot of gold on these. There's no increase. There's no point in increasing puppet dance because puppet dance is fucking god awful. I guess that also. Uh, Druid is also very, very, very gold hungry. Like, absolutely gold hungry. That's one thing that will never change. <laughs> Mana hungry and gold hungry. There are ways to lower it, though. There definitely are ways to lower it. Okay, so Huh. Okay, so Next, like I said, it's Psycho Cave. Ah, oh, let me go grab this, too. Yeah, so I'm not really torn up about the mount, to be honest. Because we can actually just farm up to a better mount. I'd say right now, it's not really all that crucial. I said the best mount we could get right now in the blues is uh, the lion mount. But I haven't yet to see that lion mount show up. But then again, like I said, combat mount is also the next best thing, really. Any combat mount would help in a situation. How about to say, is that one fucking transport stone? But no, it's a package. A package of 20. Then they have the whole package of uh, crackers, too. Hmm. Wait a minute. So I haven't seen anything go up above plus 9 when it comes to like these uh, enhances. Is plus nine the highest you can go? 
It seems like it. Okay, so plus nine gear is the highest you can go. Interesting. Make a stack ninety nine. Gonna be a while before I can earn and go for some of these uh, other items. Going to be a while. So one more thing before I hop off. Am I able to see how much it takes to enhance? Well, the success rate of it. No. No, you're not. Oh, well, hold on. Let me put this on here. Duh. First. No, no, you're not. You're not able to see it. Damn, no auto crafting, man. Sag. I'm going to miss that. I'll say plus five would be great. Okay. So plus five now. Which is good. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys uh, probably, more than likely, tomorrow. And we will pick back up in uh, Echo Cave. So with that said, until then, peace out. Sister.